Good Wednesday morning, everyone. This is meteorologist Steve Lavoie coming to you with a quick update on the incoming heat and severe weather for today, Wednesday, June 25th, 2025. The number one story for today is the potential for significant severe weather during the mid to late afternoon and evening hours. The primary threat is going to be the potential for downburst winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. However, we have a lower probability of seeing more destructive wind gusts, which could be in, a, in excess of 80 miles per hour. In addition, even though it's going to be a very hot day, we do have a hail threat with these strongest thunderstorms, and we could see some large hail as well, which would be quarter sized or greater than an inch in diameter. Along with that, it is already a hot, muggy day across the Midlands and CSRA, and it's just going to get hotter as the day goes on. We have a heat, in, heat advisory in effect until 8 p.m. this evening. Forecast highs are going to be around 100 degrees with heat index values of 105 to 110. But going back to the severe weather outlook, best timing right now looks to be between 3 p.m. and 11 p.m. today. So you want to remain weather aware. And I'll show you more specific timing because that's not going to be for our entire forecast area. And as I mentioned, this is a wind-driven threat. And stay tuned for updates, of course, as the day goes on. We could see an upgrade to this threat to a level 3 or enhanced, but right now it's a level 2 or slight. Regardless, you want to be prepared for the possibility of damage from these strong winds and possibly even some large hail with the strongest thunderstorms. Here is our latest timing graphic. This is as of earlier this morning. And so you can see we're expecting thunderstorms to develop and become strong to severe across the northern Midlands, the areas in blue, somewhere between 3 and 7 p.m. And we see a cluster of showers and thunderstorms move south and west through the forecast area. So it'll be in the central Midlands roughly between 5 and 9 p.m. And then the CSRA will see it last from 7 to 11 p.m. this evening. And as I mentioned, we have that heat advisory that remains in effect until 8 p.m. this evening. Our forecast highs for today are between 98 and 102 degrees. And that combined with the humidity will produce a heat index of 105 to 110. Our official classification for a heat advisory is when we see heat index values of 108 degrees or higher for two or more hours. And so this is our forecast max heat index for the day. And you can see a lot of areas could see that 110, 109 heat index later today. That won't be the entire day. Make note that this is the maximum heat index. That'll occur during peak heating, probably around midday, maybe into the early afternoon hours. Our confidence is a little bit lower on us meeting official criteria today because it'll depend on where the showers and thunderstorms develop and how quickly they do develop later today. One thing I did want to mention that's a bit different from yesterday is the possibility that these thunderstorms knock out power. And so you want to make sure you're taking precautions and have a plan if we have these hot temperatures still and the severe weather comes by and knocks out power. So again, these are a few tips that you can take. For example, if the power goes out, close all the blinds, go to the coolest part of your home. And if need be, you can take a cool, cool shower or cool bath, for example. In terms of the timing for greatest impacts, again, this is our best guess right now. So the strong winds really ramp up somewhere between roughly 4 and 10 p.m. Hail, of course, will be accompanied by the strongest thunderstorms, as will heavy rain. These could be moving a little bit slow, so we could see, you know, localized flash flooding. Uh, that would be most likely in your small streams, your urban areas, so that is a possibility we can't rule out. So keep that in mind, especially if you're in an area that traditionally sees a lot of flash flooding, such as urban areas like Martinez, Georgia, Sumter, South Carolina, and the Five Points neighborhood of Columbia. If you do get the rain to come in and it's heavy enough, lasts long enough, you could see that flash flooding occur. And then finally, again, the heat's going to be focused more in the early afternoon. And that will wrap things up for today. And this is meteorologist Steve Lavoie. And remember to stay weather aware. Stay safe today, everyone.